Let's go to Matt in California, then Wiley, Carol, Dan, Amanda, Zach, Eric, Mike, Stephen, Edward. We'll get to at least those calls today, or I'll punch myself in the nose. Matt in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, dude, I'm so pumped to finally talk to you, man. Uh, it's amazing, your work. I love you, man. Uh, I'm a first-time caller. I'm down here in San Diego, right here in the front lines of tyranny, you know, just like the rest of America. But uh, I have a few topics to bring up, if that's okay. Hit me hard, brother. We don't screen your calls. All right, man, awesome. Well, um, I, I want to ask you about the blueprint of Mad Men, um, because I know the, the intro is funny and it's hilarious, and it makes, it makes sense to everybody that... Uh, understands what's happening in America, and I honestly do believe it's hilarious. But the people that don't uh, know what's happening, I'm working for like Janet. Just... Say again. <laughs> do it for Janet. <laughs> um, well, I was just gonna say that, um, yeah, like the people that don't understand, they, I feel like they just kind of like turn it off within the five, because you know it's a five minute intro. And I, now I listen, brother, I hear you. I, I mean, I did that as just a one-off thing for PrisonPlanet.tv members and to show it a few events on the road. And uh, so, it, I mean, it is what it is. I'm certainly not perfect. So, uh, tell you what, make a film, brother. It's amazing. You hit with the information so hard. It's so clear. It's, it's perfect. But I just feel like we need to get it trending, something kind of like the Tony video. We could get people talking about it on no, Facebook. No, I hear you. Listen, listen. Uh, the info in that film we just did in a few weeks quickly, I I've attended a big, high-production deal on the Total Eugenics Master Plan. I'm just so busy launching nightly news shows, doing interviews, everything else. What's your other point? Um, well, I just wanted to say I was at Ron Paul at UCSD uh, just yesterday, and that was amazing. Probably like 6,500 people turned out. It was good to see. All those people Did you see the photos of movement. Obama launching his campaign, and there wasn't even a few thousand there? <laughs> looking, looking exactly like Romney's campaign out there in Detroit, where he's got you know a couple hundred people. But they got up, right? the electronic voting machines. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. But I want to—I just want to say that I'm out here trying to support, man. Um, I'm posting flyers around the school about 9/11 tonight. I'm going to hang up a bunch more. I'm going to hang up the Infowar sign right by the freeway. I'm down here at San Diego State, so I'm. I'm hitting the college crowd. And, you Matt, know, you are people. awesome. Do you have a Facebook or Twitter or something? I, I do have Facebook. Uh, uh, I'm, I don't know. Should I, should I say it on yeah, air? Yeah, give it out if you want help. Yeah. Uh, okay, my name is uh, Matt and uh, last name Emershy, E-M-E-R-S-H-Y. -E I, I, need, I need people. I need info warriors down here to help me. We need to wake these people up because down here it's, it's tough. You know, these college. Good the job. College Keep it up. And, 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 and we're going to put another film out. With all that info, without the joke intro. But I did that to get to people to show the ridiculousness of all this Homeland Security paranoia. Wiley in Nevada, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex. Um, I have a quick question. Um, lately with all the um, the speculation of Obama's fake birth certificate and fake Social Security number and whatnot, why hasn't uh, Congressman Ron Paul addressed this issue? Um, and could because because I don't think he knows it's a tar baby. You can't prove one way or the other. I mean, we know Obama's covering up. We know he's been caught lying. We know he's got all these other fake names. Barry Sotaro, dead people, social security numbers. We know he's not who he says he is. He's a cutout. He's been sheep dipped. He's a black operator, uh, you know, a secret operator. Uh, he's whole family CIA. We know that. Uh, but Ron Paul realizes politically that he can't 100% prove it. He can prove the Federal Reserve's private and destroying this economy. Right. I, like I said, I would like to say that I work in the service industry, and the numbers on the uh, on TV is definitely false. Uh, roughly, I, sp I speak to about 10,000 people a week, off and on, and there's literally three quarters of America that is rooting for Ron Paul right now. No, I know. The system is totally panicking. The, as I told you three, four months ago, he won Iowa, he won Maine, he won Nevada. It was proven. And now the news goes, he did win, doesn't matter. They stole the things up front so it would look like he wasn't the front runner so folks would get scared of Obama and go with uh, Romney. But you're right, it's a hoax, and we're calling their hoax. Obama can't even get 2,000 people out. I could go to UT and probably have 10,000. I've had 2,000 before without even promoting it. We'll be right back. It's a paper tiger. It's a hoax.
sick of the globalist eugenicist control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die? Start purifying your water with ProPure. My friends, I've done a lot of research, and the best gravity filter out there, bar none, is ProPure. And it's available discounted at Infowars.com. Its filters are silver impregnated to prevent bacterial growth. There's no priming required. It's NSF 42 certified. Optional fluoride filters can reduce fluoride up to 95%. Easy to set up and use. Doesn't require electricity. Purify water from lakes, streams, ponds, and wells. This filter system leaves in beneficial minerals, which is key. Save money by not buying bottled water and avoid BPA that leaches from the plastic. ProPure is the best gravity-fed filter out there. It's what my family uses. Infowars.com already has the lowest price on ProPure. But if you add the promo code WATER at checkout, you get an additional 10% off at Infowars.com. You can also call to order 888-253-3139. Welcome to hour number two. We have in-studio guests coming up. Let's continue with your calls. Carol is calling in from FEMA Region 5. Which former state do you live in uh, under the new foreign banker occupation? Which, which FEMA center uh, under the 10 governors uh, do you uh, live under, uh, Carol? Hi, Alex. It's good to finally talk to you. Can you hear me? Yes. What state are you in? Minnesota. Okay. Welcome from FEMA Region 5. What's on your mind? Thank you. I have a quick question and comment, and then I want to report on something that happened to us recently. Uh, my question is, my son and I are planning a trip to Chantilly to join you for the Bilderberg protest. What date are you planning to be there? Okay, to be, we're 99% sure that from the last day of this month to the 3rd, they're at the Chantilly, Virginia Marriott, the global elite that the media said didn't exist and we were insane. Now the Washington Post admits, yeah, they do actually basically pick who the two presidential candidates are. They decide who the media gets behind and they run things. Washington Post two weeks ago just bragged, your slave, shut up and enjoy it. Uh, and uh, so I plan to be there by... The last day of May through the 3rd, and I will be there outside bullhorning them and taking photos of the non-existent group uh, the entire time, and I am calling for thousands to be there. And we're 99% sure. In fact, I meant tomorrow to start beating the drum to tell everybody to be there. So uh, everybody from all over the country needs to be there. Uh, my comment is I'm a frustrated info warrior. I keep trying to warn people and help them to wake up by sending emails and using Facebook. But nobody seems to care or is listening. Uh, my son's got about 20 of your bumper stickers on his van. And now I had some business cards printed up with your info on. So we're going to keep trying to help people wake up. But Well, you know, Carol, I either get people calling in saying everybody they know is waking up. And we hear those calls or they're not having a big effect. A lot of times if you kind of do it from a position of, oh, it's not doing too well, people... Most of the public is on fluoride, brain damage, and you're not going to help them. They don't count. It's always a minority, just like our founding uh, fathers, uh, who are going to be able to take it back. So keep doing what you're doing. We're going to launch the social network in the next few weeks, meet like-minded people in Minnesota there, and work together on that front. God bless you. Keep it up. Okay, let's go to uh, Dan in Hawaii. Dan, you're on the air. Welcome. Aloha, Alex from Hawaii. I have a story. Uh, it broke a couple, about a month and a half back, that the, uh, the mayor actually suspended the police chief of the island and his two deputy assistants against the, uh, the votes of the police commission. He's, you know, the police commission voted to reinstate him after the mayor took it, you know, on his authority to suspend the, the uh, three top cops for the island. And only after the police commission voted to reinstate them uh, and public outcry was the police chief and the two assistants uh, reinstated. Okay, do you and think that was good or bad? I'm sorry? Do you th most people don't know about what's happening in Hawaii. Is that good or bad? Uh, it, it's good because it, it kind of woke some people up going, hey, you know, the, we see bad things happening on the mainland. It really kind of shook me up going, hey, you know, I'm on the smallest island. I'm on Kauai. And uh, people were going, hey, this isn't right. The mayor doesn't have the authority to do this. And the mayor actually suspended the police chief and then jetted off to the uh, the Oscars or the Emmy because one of the movies was shot on our island. So he did yeah, well, there's, you know, there's other stuff going on as well. There's there's things like, um, you know, cases where, take Courtside, Arizona, where the police suspend the mayor and the city council. So I know that's wrong. Okay, but I do appreciate your call. You know, I'm, I'm worried about a lot of these commissions actually trumping elected uh, representatives. 
but I, again, I can't comment on that, on that story because I'm not up on it. I'm the first, most talk show hosts will just act like they know what they're talking about. If I haven't researched something, I'm not going to comment on it. But thank you, Dan. Amanda in Kansas City, you're on the air. Dude, Alex, happy Sunday, man. Nice to be on the phone with you. God bless you. Welcome. Uh, I just wanted to call and encourage this man. We are out here in the Midwest. We are fighting and people are waking up. Not only are we pushing to get Ron Paul, but we are starting by taking back our communities. Other than that, I wanted to bring up a topic to you. There is a war being waged for our youth, and it is literally a mindlessness, a lifestyle of recklessness. I, uh, I work in retail, and there, uh, there's one of these stores in every mall it, all across America, even to Alaska and Hawaii. Literally, Alex... There is merchandise being sold that says, in big, bold, black letters, this brand is a cult. You've got Medusa heads on T-shirts that says the ruling elite underneath. You've got Freemason imagery everywhere. No, I and know. I see it. Again, every culture right before it collapses, the, the children get into death and destruction and into nihilism. And, you know, they're not worried that reactors are melting down in Japan and radiating us. The government says, you know, even though different isotopes in some cases are thousands of times what they should be, they just say nutritious. And so it's a general decadence in what societies do right before they collapse. Uh, and it's, it's uh, very, very sickening. A lot of youth are actually waking up. If you explain to them that there is value in life, there is a quest for liberty, you know, there are greater ideas uh, to be involved in something epic, and that life is magic and that the stars are all around us and that beautiful moon last night and that there's love and honor and, and going and, and volunteering at a nursing home to go visit and just read and hold an old person's hand. That is what we, children and young people, you're not going to find fulfillment in death and destruction and drugs and Satanism. You're going to find it in standing up for goodness and you're going to find it in being persecuted for good. That will open the universe up to you. If you want to be shunted and stunted, then give in to the dark side. The dark side is a joke compared to the good. That's the truth. But also one other thing I wanted to bring up, uh, all across America, all we need to do is go and Google, look up on the Internet, uh, old, old not being used military bases. There's one in, in every city, and, and that is what it's, it's stated. There's information on Richard Skabauer Air Force Base, down in Grand Grandview, just south of Kansas City, how it's being reactivated. Uh, Army PSYOPs battalions have been stationed there and absolutely confirming what this document that's just leaked, that it is ready for the American people, and they are activating these sites. As they well, have the Emergency city. Centers Establishment Act. They have the Civilian Inmate Labor Camp Program. I've been to countless urban warfare drills where they train to take our guns and break our families up, and I gave you the clergy response team documents three years before they were declassified. Now they have newscasts with preachers going, during martial law, we tell you, turn your guns in and go to the camp. It's of the Lord. I mean, I, <laughs> preachers listening right now have been given the training. They know it's real. It's total fascism. I appreciate your call. Let me tell you, most of these preachers will tell you to march into these death camps. They'll be there going, of the Lord, communism, blow their heads off. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. These are demons. The general public has been turned into goblin creatures. Look at them. Slovenly, cowardly, gibbering idiots. But those of us that are awake aren't going along with it. Zach in Tennessee, you're on the air. Go ahead. We've got a minute and a half before we got a break. Yes, sir, Mr. Jones. I'm ready, baby. And what I have to say is everybody keeps on calling in, fired up. And all I want to say is we're weathering the storm. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel, sir. And what I want to know is there's only so much that we can do on the home front here in Nashville, here across the Mid-South. I want to know who exactly do I need to get in contact with to put myself in a position where I can actually be heard for what I have to say, just like you, sir. Tell me how you started out. I already know all the fun stories. Well, here's the thing. It takes time to grow to the next level. We're trying after years to launch a social network that won't crash when it gets hundreds of thousands of members like has happened in the past. We're going to uh, do a lot of other things to try to get people organized together. But basically, do a local access show. Start a local once a week newspaper just in your area. Uh, you know, call in to talk radio. Start an organization. Go to city council and speak. Just you don't have to overturn the whole system yourself. Start small, and then big things will happen. Be faithful in the small things. Be faithful in the big things. And I appreciate everything you're doing, sir. I just know that I can do this, and I want it to be put in positions where I can. And I know if I have a mentor like you or someone else in my personal life that I can mentor 24/7. Sure, sure. Expose the election fraud that they now admit Ron Paul won all those first states, but they told the Lemmings he didn't, so they would think he couldn't win. 
as they kept telling you he couldn't win. We had a guy calling earlier who's been doing InfoWars.com banner hang later. InfoWars.com is the front line. So that's a great meeting point. Uh, just wait till later this week when I launch this new offensive. We'll be back with our guests. More of your calls coming up.